Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hey, sorry, but do I know you? Are you saying you don't recognize me? I don't think I've ever seen you before in my entire life. Well, I didn't think you would recognize me. It's me, Musk! So you're human now? Yeah. When I went away, I did some thinking and came back a human. You turned human just like that? I don't completely understand it, but here I am. Um... <sighs> Alright, prove to me that you're Musk. What's something that only we would both know? That's something only Musk would know? Let me think about this one. Oh, every night. You fill your socks with whipped cream and ice cubes and then you're oh, the All bed. right, all right, I get it. You're Musk. I always wondered how you felt about that, by the way. You being in the room and all. To be completely honest, at first I was like, oh my god, what a You know second. what? I think I prefer not knowing, actually. Yeah. Uh, want to play video games? Yeah! You know, fighting games. I always thought those ones look really fun. Oh, we can play Injustice, uh, Super Smash Bros, Mortal Kombat? I'm gonna play Street Fighter. Street Fighter? Yeah. I sold Street Fighter a while ago. I was so bad at that thing. Well... I used to watch you play video games like all the time, and the only one that I really wanted to play was Street Fighter. Hmm. hmm. All right, I got Street Fighter. Oh yeah. Hey, don't you want to play this with me? Yeah, one sec. I just have to make a quick phone call. Hey Arlo, I need you to come over right now. In this way, I'm kind of in the middle of something important. No man, Musk is back. What? Coming over now. Uh? Dude, I'm about to beat him. No, no. Yeah! God damn it, not again. Hell yeah. Hey. Uh, hey Arlo. Who's this guy? Hey Arlo. And how does he know who I am? Me, Musk. You're human now? Yeah, I turned into a human. Huh. Tell me something only you and I know. Ooh, I got a good one for you. You're still in love with your first grade crush. Yep, that's definitely Musk. Wait, have you been sharing secrets with my dog? That's not important right now. This is crazy. We should like throw a party or something to celebrate. Well, it's not really much. 
much to do than sit around and ponder life's mysteries. Oh, Scooby Doo! Uh, what man wearing a Well, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, Bertrand so Russell's philosophical ideals didn't necessarily uh, match up with his scientific practices, no, but they didn't need to. He would be the first to admit that neither field needed to intertwine. situation just sunk in for me. I mean, I'm just saying be careful. Maybe he's some sort of wizard who took all of Musk's memories and this is his first step to ruling the world or something. I'll keep that in mind. I'm gonna go take a shower or Musk? 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 Hey, Zach! Got any more cereal? Looks like we're running on a little low here. Listen, we need to talk about that. You're a human being now. Human beings need to take responsibility for things like buying your own cereal, changing your clothes, and taking a shower. These are things that human Our beings pizza. do. I order pizza. Wait just a moment. Look, I brought you a change of clothes and I whipped you up a resume. Let me take a little look at this here. Since when do you read? Well, whenever you would leave a book open on your floor, I'd take a look. You know, I picked up a few things here and there. Okay, this says I went to Stanford and I majored in curing cancer. Yeah, I mean, you'd totally get a job with those credentials. Where should I take these? Uh, just take it to Starbucks or the supermarket around the corner. Okay, man. I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah. 
From NPR News, this is All Things Considered. I'm Guy Raz. Two very different philosophies on how to tackle slow growth and high unemployment are about to collide here in Washington. President Obama has ideas, so does the newly elected Republican majority under presumed Speaker John Boehner. I'm here to tell you tonight that our new majority will prepare to do things differently, to take a new approach that hasn't been tried in Washington before by either party. Well, we've heard it starts with cutting spending instead of American increasing it. Tonight. Right after the election, the spending, Senate's top Republican, debt, Mitch McConnell, emphasized once again his top political priority to make President Obama a one-term president. America. But despite what Republicans or Democrats say, over the next two years, they'll have two choices. What the hell? Jesus Christ, you can't just barge into my room. We've talked about this. Look what's in my hands. Wait, that's Musk. But he's human now. Hey guys, I just got like three jobs. Look, I can see you guys are irritable about this. I'm not even gonna try to reason with you. It's gonna be right here, at this corner. If you ever wanna see me again, you can visit me here. Or if it's during working hours, visit me in one of my jobs. It's my car. Mostly I'm just gonna be right here though, at this corner. I don't wanna hear any of this, you damn dirty wizard. About that wizard thing, you're actually just not- Just stop. I have my dog back, Arlo. Everything's back to normal. Let's just go. See you guys. Miss you already. Musk, come on, let's do something. Musk! Musk! Come on, buddy, let's have an emotional reunion and shit. You know, like, this is fun and all, but he clearly went through some stuff when he was lost. I think you need to sort it out, like, dog to owner. I'm gonna go. I know what can cheer you up. Look, I brought you your favorite. A stack of pancakes. Eat up. Go ahead. Hmm. Hello? Hey, listen man, I need you to come over. It's about Musk. Can't you just come over here? Yeah, but I mean the whole episode's taking place at your house. Come on, man. <sighs> Fine. I'll be over in a second. Alright, cool, you're here. So after seeing how weird Musk was acting, I decided to figure out what was up. Look at this. What? How'd you get this? While you're in the bathroom, I saw some cameras in your house. I really don't feel comfortable about that. <laughs> don't worry, it's not like I was recording you. But besides, I think something's up, and it's not just homeless dog PTSD. What do you think it is? I don't know, but I think I know someone who might. Hey, you guys. I knew you'd come to your senses sooner or later. I gotta say, though, working, totally not that bad. I kinda like being a productive part of society. Cut the funny talk. What'd you do with my dog? I am your dog, come on. No, my dog's sitting in my room with a freezing stack of pancakes right now. What'd you do to him? Okay, guys. Well, this is gonna be a lot to take in. That idea that Arlo had about the wizard wasn't too far off. The body I'm in actually belonged to a wizard. I originally ran away because I needed some alone time. You know, some time to think to myself. I walked by some guy who grabbed my attention. He said he was a wizard. He went on this whole thing about how we could switch bodies. And honestly, being a human sounded pretty nice. I didn't tell you this because I thought the story would be too unbelievable. As we were trading bodies, he told me that there was one way to trade back. 
one of us has to die. What? It has to happen in this interdimensionary zone thing, though. It's pretty complicated. Interdimensionary zone. How do we get there? A door. Let's go. Okay. So, this is it. Yeah. Just open the door. Oh! And take this. You know, for the killing. Give me the gun. This is my dog. I'm gonna do the killing. So just any time? Yeah, you just dog? shoot him. Just shoot him. I thought I could do this, I really did, but now that we're here, I realize this is sort of a big deal. Arlo, can you take it back? <laughs> There's no way I could shoot anyone. You were totally right to take it away from me. <sighs> okay, look, well, you gotta shoot somebody because we can't leave here until someone dies. What? Oh, I may have left that detail out. I'm sorry, guys. That's completely my bad. <sighs> look, if you're still wary about this whole shooting thing, just shoot me, and you guys can get out of here. Oh, damn. So now we know he's the good guy. Shoot the dog, Zach. Here we go. What? Why isn't anything happening? Did I just shoot my dog? <laughs> and everything is back to normal. Yeah, but you killed a guy. <laughs>